These unemployed Washington residents want the U.S. Congress to stop playing politics, arguing about raising the debt limit when they're desperate for work. So they're walking the halls to prove a point, donning clown costumes. It's a clown mask and um, it's resembling the situation that's at hand. Um, they're clowning around without jobs. But few members of Congress bothered to listen. Instead, representatives from both parties are still focused on a sales pitch of another kind. There are two very different plans to solve the U.S. debt crisis. One is from Democrats, and the other is driven by Republicans, strongly influenced by the party's more conservative members. At the end of the day, I, I do believe that my colleagues think that the country has to come first. Politics should come second and we need to get on with our works. The Tea Party movement is pressuring Republican lawmakers not to support any deal that doesn't include massive spending cuts. But Democrats argue their plan is the only true compromise that includes spending cuts and also protects Americans who may rely on government benefits. It meets our goals of protecting Social Security and Medicare. It is a good piece of legislation. It's a compromise. But with just six days until August 2nd, the day the U.S. Treasury says it might not have the money to pay those very bills, economic uncertainty is mounting. On Wall Street, stocks fell for a fourth straight session. And appearing before a House Congressional Committee, the president of the credit rating agency Standard & Poor's warned of dire consequences even if a debt deal is reached, stressing the U.S. must get spending under control to remain in good standing. And the growth rate of the debt burdens is something that does need to be addressed um, for us to continue to assess the creditworthiness of the sovereign commercial debt at AAA levels. The U.S. debt currently stands at $14.3 trillion, and with Republicans and Democrats still no closer to compromise, there are growing fears potential economic catastrophe is now on the horizon. Kimberly Helkin, Al Jazeera, Washington.